Ever wondered who hits harder, big or fast? Tony did when he asked, I have a question regarding weight loss and punching power. Let's imagine we have two genetically identical fighters. Muay Thai fighter one weighs 90 kilos, but is physically less muscular and fat. Muay Thai fighter two weighs 78 kilos, but is physically fitter and has more muscle mass through maximum strength, explosive and speed strength training. Which of the two hits harder, the heavier or the fitter? I love this. It's right up my street and I'm going to use some simple physics to reveal exactly who wins the punching contest and why. Fighters, welcome back to another episode of Heatrick Muay Thai Performance. In this episode, we'll prove if being heavier or being faster results in the hardest punch. So you can decide if losing body fat will reduce your KO ability and how to best train to deliver the most destructive strikes possible. Taking Tony's question, I'm going to standardize it to make it a fair test and we can see who would really hit harder. We'll assume both fighters have the same level of Muay Thai technique and relative strength for their muscle mass. We'll then make this a little more extreme than Tony's proposed example and say that both fighters also have the same amount of muscle mass. Fighter one weighs 90 kilos, has 22% body fat, and has 70.2 kilos of lean muscle mass. Fighter two weighs 78 kilos, has 10% body fat, and also has 70.2 kilos of lean muscle mass. So literally, the only difference between these two fighters is 12 kilos of body fat. Fighter one is just over 15% heavier, but has no strength advantage. Because both fighters have the same amount of muscle mass and strength, their force production is the same. But fighter two has less mass, and being 12 kilos lighter will accelerate over 15% faster, according to Newton's second law of motion force equals mass times acceleration. Just like you'd lift yourself quicker on a chin-up bar if you don't have extra weight added to you. Accelerating faster means that fighter two will reach a higher striking velocity by the time the punch lands given the same range or distance. So now we really are comparing who hits harder, the heavier fighter or the faster fighter. We're comparing weight and speed, which is mass and velocity in scientific terms. And using those two variables, we can check out which combination generates the most destructive strike. And the best measure for this is kinetic energy. Practical tests using arrows penetrating targets show that the greater the kinetic energy, the deeper the arrow sinks into the target. And the same is true of our punch too. When we look at the kinetic energy of a strike, both mass and velocity matter, but velocity is squared in the equation, making it twice as important. Very simply, if you double the mass, you double the kinetic energy. But if you double the velocity, you quadruple the kinetic energy. In our example, despite being lighter by virtue of being faster, Fighter 2 will be capable of hitting harder than the heavier Fighter 1 because of a higher strength to weight ratio. So either or both reducing body fat while maintaining muscle mass or training to increase neuromuscular strength without gaining muscle mass will both increase your force production and your potential to explode faster, creating more kinetic energy and more KO power. And if you want help understanding how to build neuromuscular strength or reducing body fat while maintaining muscle mass and strength, I've put links to further resources for you with the show notes page for this episode too. Thanks for listening. If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe and share with someone else it could help too. Please give the podcast a review or comment below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, you can visit heatrick.com for more Muay Thai performance podcasts, videos, articles, and guides. Catch you next time.